A lot of excitement ahead of the encounter between Romania and Greece at Spa-Francorchamps for a two-hour race and it was wet all the way. Everyone got along well at the start and uh, there were no incidents as they climbed through Eau Rouge and Radion. At the head of the GT3 field it was, it was Hurdakis who claimed the pole position with, uh, with a comfortable margin but right behind him there were Romanians and Greeks battling out with Alex Cascato trying a move into the Lecombe chicane. Then there was um, uh, Kirkos on the, on the attack there with uh, Berinde and Mitropoulos and uh, Berinde quickly got up to third place before relinquishing it to Mitropoulos. Everyone uh, was away well at the head of the pack. Hurdakis and uh, Cascato tried to escape but to no avail because the Bentleys were soon uh, giving the chase up to the two Mercedes. In the first sector of the first lap it was Kirkos who made a mistake and that triggered um, a lot of incidents. He spun in the middle of the track, some could have avoided him but uh, not his compatriot with the Mercedes there. And then it was a chain reaction, a lot of uh, cars spinning out in the middle of the track and being hit. In the second part of the field a lot of GD4s uh, into Blanchimont got, uh, got tagged there and uh, heavily delayed. At the front of the pack uh, it was uh, <coughs> Mitropoulos who tagged Cascato into a spin. Berinda gained two places from fourth to second with this move. Mitropoulos waited for uh, Cascato to recover. It was a comfortable um, maneuver there in the end for, uh, for Cascato to recover. Mitropoulos got sanctioned with uh, an additional 10 seconds. Those were added to his pit stop. And he soon gained the place when uh, Cascato outbraked himself into La Source Hairpin. Kirkos was, uh, was recovering with his, uh, with his Bentley after the, uh, the initial incident and he was soon uh, battling out with the GT4s. Ahead of the GT4 pack this was the fight for victory between Andrei Bekir and uh, Viktor Nikolai. In the first hour of the race they traded places several times, it was a lovely fight between the Aston Martin and the Alpine, there was nothing to choose between them and they had responses to the other one's attacks uh, several times, traffic played a part as well but um, both of them though, were, were very brave in, uh, in their attacks, the GT4 fight was, uh, was clearly the one to watch in, uh, in the first part of the race as in GT3's Hurdakis was, uh, was opening a comfortable lead ahead of uh, Berinda and uh, Mitropoulos Berinda moved past the, the GT4 fight with ease and then fourth place Alex Cascato uh, made a mistake approaching speaker's corner hit the wall and uh, retired on the spot, it was, it was only lap 12 and uh, there was only Christian Berinda representing Romania at the top of the GT3 pack from, uh, from that moment onwards. Mihai Russo was also um, recovering but uh, Tudor Mihai was, was clearly faster, in the first part of the race he had um, perfect McLaren there whilst uh, Mihai Russo's Mercedes was heavily damaged. Leo Borlovan as well, he had to battle out through the GT4 pack and Viktor Nikolai lost some time here when both uh, Leo Borlovan and uh, Panagiotis Kirkos uh, moved past him. That only meant that uh, Andrei Bekir was, uh, was smiling as, uh, as Viktor Nikolai was wasting time there. Zibowski also uh, involved in that first lap incident, he was um, also battling his way up into the GT4 rankings with a move past uh, Cesar Tuader's McLaren and Cesar Tuader will be, will be a factor in this race by, by, by mid-race he will be involved in an incident that uh, would become crucial for the development of, of the race. But before that he had the second episode of this fight with, uh, with the KTM driven by Zipovski. The KTM um, battling in the bus stop chicane there. 
and moving ahead of, uh, of Cesar Tuader. This was lap 19 and the pit stops were approaching and here's the leader Yanis Hurdakis exiting the pit lane and tangling with Cesar Tuader and being collected by the GT4 leader by Andrei Bekir. The GT3 leader uh, Hurdakis was out on the spot, Bekir had uh, 40 seconds of damage and couldn't battle on with, uh, with Viktor Nikolai. There were um, a lot of, of incidents to, to be considered in this uh, hectic middle part of the race. The life stewards were on duty and um, a few penalties were awarded. Then uh, Jim Parisis, he tried to, um, to bring his Honda up on the podium, but uh, as he exited the pits, Fotis Vimas with his uh, Lexus uh, moved aside and uh, grabbed third place from, uh, from Parisis. Then it was uh, Sarantidis, the one to uh, to profit by another tiny mistake from uh, from Parisis exiting uh, Blanchimont, and the BMW M6 uh, moved ahead of the Honda up into fourth place. Ahead of the pack, uh, there was Christian uh, Berinda who inherited the lead after uh, Hurdakis um, is uh, DNF, sadly DNF there. Another fight in uh, in GT4 as. Um, Night time was approaching at the end of the race with Tasopoulos moving ahead of uh, Zamfir before uh, climbing through through Eau Rouge. And finally it was uh, Berinda claiming the win for uh, Romania with uh, Haris Mitropoulos some 20 seconds behind and Dimas uh, on the podium in uh, GT3. Nikolai Bekir and uh, Kliron Omos uh, were on the podium in, uh, in GT4.